Hi, I'm Courtney Harder with Case IH. In this video, we are going to go through the process of setting your toolbar height and levelness on a 2000 series planner. Our toolbar height and levelness is going to impact the row unit's ability to open the trench, drop the seed, and close the furrow. So we wanna make sure that we've got the toolbar set to, to those correct, um, the correct settings. The first thing that we're gonna look at is toolbar height. So our toolbar height on a 2000 series planner should be 26 inches. So we'll measure that with a tape measure to the bottom of the toolbar. And we wanna make sure that we do both of these tests in your field conditions so it can accurately reflect um, how, uh, how your toolbar is going to run in your field conditions. So if our toolbar height is not at that 26 inches, the first thing we're gonna do is make an adjustment to our two point hitch position. Secondly, if we need to go beyond that, we'll make an adjustment to the carrier wheel mounting position. The second thing that we are going to um, check on the toolbar is toolbar levelness. This we can just set a level on the toolbar and verify that it is running level to the ground. If our toolbar height is not running level to the ground, we make an adjustment to the two-point hitch. Um, previously, with, with uh, our previous model of planners, the parallel links were an indicator of our toolbar height and levelness. Because of the curved parallel links on a 2000 series, it's no longer an accurate indicator, but we do want to make sure that our parallel link mounting points on the row unit side do run lower in the field than the mounting points on the head bracket side. Once you've got your set two point position for that 26 inch tall toolbar height and a level toolbar, make sure you record that two point hitch position so you can go back to it uh, with the start of, of each new field. For more information on toolbar height and levelness, consult your operator's manual or contact your local Case IH dealer.